I'm building a mobile app for a client right now and what they want is very similar to what I'm showing on the screen right now from the Netflix mobile app where it has the boot screen or the splash screen or the launch page as some call it in a mobile app where it shows the logo first and then it animates in some sort of way to look pretty cool when the app is loading before it shows the home screen. So the client that I'm working with wants this in their mobile app after some research and some development I was finally able to achieve something like this in the app. So if you see it loads the logo, then it shows the animation, and then the home page shows after it. Everything's animated as far as showing the first logo, animating after that, and then even like fading into the home screen. So how did I do this? I built this app using React Native. Right now I'm gonna show you how I did it in React Native on iOS, how did I make the animated uh, launch screen that I ended up making. So to start, let's go to Xcode and let's go to the, it's called a launch screen. I already have one of these launch screen storyboards set up. If you don't have this file, you can add it. Uh, actually React Native, I think, set this up automatically. So you can see these little default things in here. What I can do is delete these and how Apple treats the launch screen here is that it has to be a static image. It can't be a video, it can't be a GIF, it can't be an animated graphic. It has to be a static image. So how these companies do, like Netflix and these other companies do their animated boot screens is that they show the static image first and then right after that they show a similar graphic that starts at the same, the same pixel, the same exact image that the static image was and then they animate that image. So start as a uh, fixed image and then right after that play your animation right after that. But the your fixed image in the start of your video or your animation needs to be exactly the same so it looks like it's loaded for a minute and then it animated if that makes sense. And so you have to put a static image first and then put something similar behind it to make it work. Well, what my client wants is to display one logo statically first the foam apps logo and then wants to display like the logo the different animated version of it right after as the app kind of loads itself and starts to show show the home screen so what i need to add in first what i want to do first is actually go in here and i want to set the background of this to black then i want to take this image and add it into the project, copy, and then I actually want to come into here in this view and I want to add a new image, image view, drag it into here, I want it to be in the middle. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then in image, I wanna actually make it be splash what I put in there. So now I got that in there. So that looks very similar to what I had. I also need to add some constraints. So I want it centered in the middle, centered vertically. So I'm gonna add those two constraints. Now my sides is messed up. So I actually wanna add some constraints around the sides of it. Let me see. So this to maybe be like 300. The height and width 300. Yeah, that was, yeah, so I want it to look kind of like that. So I'm gonna go with that. So now it'll be always centered and always be 300 by 300. And so yeah, let's see what that looks like when we use this on the app. See what we got so far. Okay, yeah. And it goes right into it. And if you see there's like a white screen in between, let's try it again. So it shows the foam and then it has white screen and it shows the home screen. So that seems to work, but still not where we wanna be. We wanna animate it thing after that. So what do we need to do next? So what I wanna do after this is before this screen shows, I wanna show a new screen that is a splash, animated splash image screen that will show my animated image right after the splash screen loads. So I'm gonna make a new screen and then the static image is gonna show and then this screen is gonna show right after it as an animated screen before this screen shows. So what I can do is create a new screen called splash screen. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna give you this code from online. Copy the code from here. Put it into splash screen and save that. And so what this code does is basically it has a new React Native screen called Splash Screen. When the page loads, it's going to hide the boot splash screen, which I'll explain what that is later. It's going to set a 300 millisecond, 3,000 millisecond timeout, which is three seconds. And then after that, it's going to tap, it's going to navigate to the tab screen, which is the home screen, which is the main screen that you see here. So, but this screen, what it's going to show is splash.gif, which is an animated uh, logo that I showed earlier in this video. Um, and so what's gonna happen is this page is gonna load, show this animated video for three seconds, then it's gonna navigate to the next screen. Uh, and so it's gonna like basically show three seconds of the animation. And then this is just styles, just to make sure that it, you know, the background's black and everything's centered and the image is centered and looks okay. Um, and so it just makes sure all that stuff is working properly. And then I need to add the splash screen into my app. I'm gonna copy it from where I've done it before. So I'm just gonna actually copy all this and update my own local version of it. So I should add the splash screen in. The other thing is I need to add my splash. So you need to have a GIF of your animation. Right here, this file that I'm dragging around is my GIF. That is the animation. So I need to add it to my images folder. And so you can see it here. That's how the animation looks. I've added it to the project. And in my code here, I have assets, images, splash.gif already in here. But you'd have to just, you know, whatever you name the file, that's what you need to name it here. And then it'll play here. And then in my app, I actually decide to load initially initiate my app with this splash screen and then so the app will start with that splash screen but after three seconds using this navigation thing which you can learn about with react native uh, it's called react Nav navigation library you can use dot navigate to navigate to my actual real home screen so what I'm doing is I'm just showing this boot this splash screen for three seconds with the animated gif in it and then after that, after three seconds, I'll just hide it. Take this out because I don't have this loaded yet. I actually haven't done anything with that. And I want to see what it does right now so far. So if you see, yeah, it showed my first screen and it showed my animated screen. Let's play that one more time. Show this screen first, then it shows the animated screen. But you can see there was like a little white flash there that I don't want in there. So you like turn white and then show the animated GIF. Uh, the problem is what's happening is that that white flash, it shows while React Native is loading. So React Native works kind of like inside of the iOS wrapper. So like iOS itself is loading up React Native and as it's doing that, it's loading up my React Native application. As it's doing that, it shows this little white screen before my animation actually shows. My animated, my first screen, my animated splash screen. And so how do you fix that? I think that's our last part to fix. How I found to fix that is this NPM package called React Native Boot Splash. What this actually do, does is allow the, the splash screen that you set in iOS to actually be used as the splash screen that shows while react native is loading so that little white space we can cover that with the same splash screen that we set up initially and so it just allows it to run a little bit longer so that you don't have that white flash and so just following instructions here on how to integrate this into your app i'm going to do that it's npm install first thing we need to do is come to my app and npm install that and you see that's where I comment this out up here because I hadn't installed it yet. So that got installed. The next thing they're saying to do is you need to CD into your iOS folder and do a pod install in order to like fully install it. So you have installing RM boot splash. So now that's installed. The other instructions they have are to 
you need to add something into your actual iOS app delicate mm file. They want you to add this, this line, and then they want you to add this whole thing down here. So I'm going to go app delicate mm. I want you to add this here, copy all this, and add it to for the end. So you add that here. It's saying initialize, initialize with Storyboard Boot Splash. What I'm going to put is actually launch, oops, launch screen. So what this is going to do is going to keep, it's going to load this up first, right when the app gets done loading, so that there's not that white screen. So while React Native is loading, it'll show this because we're putting this in the iOS code. It's going to go ahead and show it first and cover that little gap. I'm gonna save this file. You have to actually tell it when to stop showing that boot screen. They have instructions in here, hide. So what you wanna do is you need to call this boot splash.hide. And then you can even put an animation on it to fade it out. So I need this line whenever I'm ready to stop showing it. When am I ready to stop showing it? You go back to the app, my splash screen. This is why I had this import in here. And then this boot splash hide fade true. So that's how I actually fade out the boot sp splash screen. And so this will make it hide. And I do this in this screen. So right when this screen loads, I hide the other screen. And then I set a timeout to keep this screen open for three seconds. And then I navigate to my next screen. And what I'm showing here is the splash. It's like the animated GIF. So now that I have that in place, everything should start coming together now. All right, got that going. And then it faded out, animated, and then that faded out. So yeah, everything's working good now. That's exactly what I want, exactly what the client wants. And took a little bit of doing, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty smooth. Everything's animated. The last part I'll tell you about is when you move to your actual home screen you also can use in react native uh card style interpolator just look that up and then you can actually make it fade with the opacity so it fades when instead of doing like a slide over when the screen changes it'll actually fade into the next screen and so that's that little effect that you see because it look kind of ugly if it just slides over but here you see after my animation plays, this will fade away into the home screen. So I just fade, it's kind of a little added um, animation that makes everything just look smoother. So that's it, let me know if you have any questions. I'll have things linked in the description. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you watching, Hope hopefully this helps somebody that's trying to do something similar.